What's up guys, Ambextreme here and welcome to my Ambextreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba installation video guide. First of all we will open our World of Warcraft folder to back up our existing add-ons and settings. Therefore we will select our WTF and interface folder. Now right click and copy the folders. Create a new folder, for example interface underline backup and paste the copied folders. Alright, now we will reset all World of Warcraft in-game settings by deleting the WTF and interface folder. In my case I will also delete the fonts folder because it's a part of the interface I used before. Don't worry, this fonts folder is also included in the Ambextreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba zip package. The World of Warcraft settings are now resetted and we can open the game. I always check the game preferences in the patcher before I start World of Warcraft. Please take your time and read through the whole and use license agreement because it's in borrower blah 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 skip. Now log into your World of Warcraft account and choose the server you're playing on. In my case it's Stormscare. As you can see there are no add-ons installed, enter the world of Warcraft. Since we reset the World of Warcraft settings, everything is set to default, like you would play for the first time. Some settings are still done, such as key bindings and others, since those settings are saved in the battle.net. Alright, now apply your graphic settings and exit World of Warcraft. My desktop recording software fucked up the cursor, so don't wonder why it's not moving at all. I still think that you guys can follow every step, just don't pay attention on the cursor. We are going to open the World of Warcraft folder again, and you will see that World of Warcraft created a new WTF and interface folder. Now we come to the important part, so please pay attention. The WTF folder contains your account name, server name and character name, which we will need later on to rename the Ambextreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba WTF folders. Ok, let's download the Ambextreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba edition, therefore open a web browser and google WoW interface. You can search for the UI on the top right or in my case I will select add-ons, categories, compilation and suits, graphical compilations and scroll down a little bit because I updated it recently. Now click download on the upper right side and donate as much money as you can. I never got any donations yet so yeah, fuck the shit and click it away. Extract the zip file and open the MBX folder. The readme file contains step-by-step -step installation information, but since this is a video guide, you don't need to read through the text file. My UI packages always contains a screenshot of the current UI version. Alright, select the fonts, interface and WTF folder and copy them into your World of Warcraft main direction. Overwrite existing files if needed. Since it's not the first interface I release and I know where you guys struggle the most, I will try to explain how the WTF folder works. The WTF folder contains all in-game settings such as add-ons, macros and others. World of Warcraft login. World of Warcraft checks if it's the first time you log in. If no, create a new WTF folder, otherwise pick the existing one. When you log in, enter your World of Warcraft account name and password. World of Warcraft will check your existing WTF folder if there is a folder named as your account name. If not, it creates a new folder. When you choose your server, World of Warcraft will check if there is the right server name in your account name folder. If yes, open it, if not, it creates a new one. Same as the server name, World of Warcraft will check your server name folder if there is a folder named as your character's name. If yes, open it, if not, it creates a new one. This all may sound a little bit confusing, but I'll give you a simple example later on. If you renamed your WTF folders properly, World of Warcraft will load all my settings. If you rename them wrong, you have a bunch of add-ons without any settings like you would just have installed them. As seen before, my account name is MB Extreme, server name Stormscale and character name Vanakar. So in the World of Warcraft folder there is a path named WTF slash account slash MB Extreme slash Stormscale slash Vanakar. Enough theory, let's get the UI working. Since we paste the Ambextreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba folders in our World of Warcraft direction, we have two different folders in our WTF slash account folder. The rename to your account name folder is the Ambextreme one, just that you know. 
The easiest way to not fuck up the renaming process. Just rename the folder World of Warcraft created on the first login with some underlines and copy the account name, rename the Extreme folders to it. Now open the old account name folder and copy the server name, apply it on the new server name folder. Same step as the server name, we will open the server name folder, copying the character name folder and rename the Ambex Dream character folder. Alright, the interface is now installed and we can open World of Warcraft again. On the left bottom side click on the add-ons button and as you can see there are some add-ons out of date. Not a problem, just check the load out of date add-ons on the upper right side and click OK. Enter world of Warcraft and see what happens. Mysteriously some settings will apply instantly, others won't or nothing will work at all. It just depends on your battle.net settings you had before you installed the Extreme UI. In my case everything worked and I'm ready to go. If it didn't work on the first login, don't worry. Enter the command slash reflux switch mbxtremeui 5.0 and press enter. The reflux addon simply searches every addon for a profile named mbxtremeui 5.0. If there is one, load it. If not, don't change the profile. World of Warcraft will reload the interface when entering the text command. If there is an add-on not working as it should do, open the add-on and check if there is an mbxtremeui 5.0 profile and load it manually. The top three add-ons that may not work are Titan Panel, Mask and the Jet. For Titan Panel we will simply right-click, manage mbxtremeui 5.0, load. For the button settings we will open slash mask and choose Renetra Fade with 5% load. For the chat settings we will simply unlock the chat, reposition and resize it. Don't forget to lock the chat again when you're done. If there are any bugs or issues, please drop me a line on Facebook, YouTube, WoW Interface or mbxtreme.com. Feel free to like, subscribe, visit my channel, tell your friends, your mom, your uncle, brothers and sisters, children and grandchildren about the mbxtreme UI 5.0 Black Mamba user interface by mbxtreme. Even if they don't care about it or ask if you're a dump, worth it. Cheers my friends!